Uh, Eloise has coffin Cyrus syndrome, uh, which is uh, an extremely rare genetic condition. Um, as far as we know, she's the only child in Quebec with the syndrome, and it causes uh, severe uh, mental and physical handicaps, including low muscle tone, um, the need for uh, oxygen continuously. Um, uh, she doesn't walk, she doesn't speak, she's nonverbal. Um, she doesn't eat on her own, she's too fed. Day-to-day -day life with Eloise is uh, sort of living literally day-to-day. -day. Um, with Eloise, you never know what you're going to get. Um, providing she stays out of the hospital and, and infection-free, there are lots of challenges, uh, certainly uh, for my wife, who stays at home with her and I go to work. Um, there's the mobility factor because she has low muscle tone. She's um, it's a a dead weight, she doesn't walk, so there's the, the transportation issue, having to carry her from A to B down the stairs um, into the car. Um, there's the uh, feeding issue because she's uh, tube fed and she's on a continuous feed, so we're limited uh, as to how much we can go outside. Uh, but we do have an eight hour block each day where we can take her off her feeding tube and we're able to go out uh, in the stroller and into the park. Because Eloise's breathing is impaired, uh, she sleeps uh, with a BiPAP mask at night and um, we put her on a, uh, it's an oxygen probe, a saturation probe that we put around her toe that gives us a, um, a level of um, oxygen and her heart rate. So it enables us at least at night to sleep and there's an alarm so we know that she's saturating well and that the heart rate is at its normal level.